In this video, I'm going to share with you my ultimate favorite watercolor supplies. And all of the supplies I share in this video are linked below in the description. The first supply I want to share with you are my two favorite hand sets from Art Philosophy. So here I have Decadent Pies which I just love. I love all of the colors in this pan set. My favorite colors in the Decadent Pies pan set is the Pistachio Cream, which is like a really pretty gold color. And I also love using this blue here. This is called Blackberry. This is probably my most favorite blue color to paint with. I also use this green a lot. It's called Lime, and it is such a beautiful, muted, natural looking green. And then this other pan set from Art Philosophy that I just love is called Vintage Pastels. And I actually just got this pan set maybe last month and I absolutely love it. My favorite colors to use in this pan set is called Soft Lilac, which is a beautiful, beautiful pastel purple. And I also love this pink here, the pink that is called Apple Blossom. It is so beautiful and I don't know I just I just really like all of these colors so much another one of my favorite watercolor supplies is this fine tech iridescent paints I just love painting with these iridescent paints they add such a magical feel to my paintings and I absolutely love painting with them and I also um, have other paints that I absolutely love that are similar to this um, but are from an Etsy shop called KMS Watercolor. I have a few of her paints here that I love so much and I, I use a lot. So here's one. It's called Sunset in Bali and it's like an iridescent white. I use this all the time and I actually just used it today painting this butterfly here. So as you can see, iridescent look to it from that paint. I also love this color right here. It's like very glittery and it's called Galactic Crush. And I have this red here that has glitter in it too that I've used and really, really like and it is called XO. It's part of her, I think it is part of her um, val Valentine set. And I have dot, dot cards from her that I absolutely love. I just love her paints. They're so shimmery and so much fun to paint with. Something that is similar to those paints that I absolutely love is this iridescent watercolor medium. It kind of reminds me of like snow or yeah like snow <laughs> that sparkles in the sun or in the moonlight. Um, it's, it's absolutely beautiful to paint with. It really helps make my art interesting and magical like like all those shimmery paints that I was just talking about. But yeah, I absolutely love this. Another paint set that I absolutely love is this Metallic Accents from Art Philosophy. So like all the other paints I was talking about, um, these are like metallic and shimmery paints, which obviously I love to paint with. Um, but yeah, I, I love this pan set here, I especially love the gold. This gold here I use all the time. Um, and actually I just used this blue here today when I painted that butterfly painting that I was just talking about. So yeah, I would say the gold is my favorite in this pan set and the blue and purple and pink, I, I use these for the most. Another set of paints that I absolutely love are my Windsor Newton Professional Pan Set. So here I have them, um, but there are also some paints from KMS Watercolor, which I was just talking about. And then I also have some other colors in here um, from Poems About You on Etsy. Yeah, I absolutely love this. My favorite color is the Sap Green to use. I, I love using the Sap Green and the Windsor Blue. And the quinacodone, I think I said that right, Qu quinacodone violet. I really love using this. Another art supply that I absolutely love is my Arches watercolor paper. So I have started using Arches last year and I never looked back. <laughs> I, I don't want to use anything else ever. So my favorite 
watercolor paper is Arches Cold Press. And here I have the um, 9 by 12 block. And I, I also have the 8 by 8 block. Well, technically it's 7.9 by 7.9, but this has been a lot of fun to use. I prefer painting with a block because I, I can just paint straight like on the pad without having to tape down my paper. So now I'm going to share with you my favorite watercolor brushes. So here I have my size 8 round brush. I use this brush probably the most out of all of my brushes that I have. And then here I have my size 0 round brush for details and I use this all the time as well and it's so handy to use like for really tiny details. And then here I have my Filbert Grainer Princeton size 3 8 inch and it is a velvet touch brush and I love this I love this brush because it is perfect for fur and I paint a lot of animals <laughs> and butterflies and surprisingly butterflies, they are a little furry. Um, so this has been really handy to paint with and I also use um, this brush for like grass for my paintings as well. So these last two supplies aren't technically watercolor supplies but I wanted to share, share them with you because they come in handy all the time. So here I have my Windsor Newton Designer's Gouache in Permanent White. So this has come in handy with a lot of my paintings because as you know, um, with watercolor, if you paint over an area that, that was supposed to be white, there's really no going back. So my gouache has come in handy a lot for highlights even, and areas that I don't end up preserving on the paper, I just use my white gouache when I am finished with the painting. I, I love using it. And the last supply that's my absolute favorite is my favorite Castell eraser. So here it's it's like a kneaded eraser. You you can like um, squish it <laughs> and like squish it to, to the size you want and it's perfect to erase your pencil lines on your watercolor painting because as you know if you um, paint over pencil you can't really erase it. So this eraser has come in handy when I need to erase pencil lines on my painting. It, it like vanishes them. They just disappear entirely and, and it's really nice. I've used other erasers and they don't do quite a good a good of job as my Faber Castell erasers. And that's it for my ultimate favorite watercolor supplies. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to watch more watercolor videos, you can find two watercolor videos right here that you might like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.